Since they swarmed anyway, there was no point in keeping the two smaller colonies apart. So we're going to do what's known as a recombined. The first step is to go through the hive that we thought was queenless, just to make sure there's not a queen in there. After all, combining two hives that might have individual queens, well, that wouldn't turn out too well. The hive on the left is the one that is supposed to be queenless. Uh, because of the fact that we're going to combine into this box, one precaution I did take was to put a queen excluder below the super and above the entrance. So if we end up with a mess, hopefully that'll prevent a swarm from occurring. With the frames of the old colony pushed to the left-hand side, I placed a couple of blank frames into the hive. The idea would be to take the second colony and put them on the right side of those blank frames. In theory, this colony had either a virgin queen or a worst case scenario, no queen. But you can never tell with bees. I might be moving a virgin queen over there. I couldn't spot her so I can't be sure. If there's a virgin queen and the old queen in the old colony, well, you know what's going to happen there. The queen excluder, I would keep under there for about 24 hours. Uh, if you put two queens in one colony, you can be pretty sure you're going to have <laughs> immediate problems. And after 24 hours, at least we could have some confidence that um, we had done the right thing. They didn't appear to be fighting or arguing, uh, that was a good sign. Of course, this was one colony about 48 hours ago, so they're all of the same heritage. Still, when you combine colonies, you have to keep an eye on what the workers are doing. If they start fighting with each other, uh, you better stop and, and backtrack. But that wasn't the case. Things seemed to look pretty good. Things were very quiet. There was no sounds of aggravated bees, no fussing, and no piping of queens about to emerge. Still, it was disturbing not to be able to see either queen. There is a possibility that both of these hives are queenless, although they did not have that feel for them. So, they are recombined and rewatered. As to what's going on in that hive, I don't know. We might have a totally queenless hive still, but at least they got some brood. It's time to take a look at the other girls. Coco Hive is very much a buzz. I'm going to give them a little ventilation. I had some screened inner covers on order, but they weren't in yet, so I made up my own. The idea was to get a little bit of airflow through the hive so it didn't get too hot as the days got warmer. I had some second thoughts about how confined they were and decided I was going to add a honey super. I didn't have any made up, so I had to quickly snap one together. And that would give them a little bit more room in the brood chamber just to expand and not have that big wad of bees down where they sense the need to swarm. Feelings both ways. Some people feel the bees don't like to cross the excluder and draw the comb out above it. And I understand that. We're feeding these guys from the top, so they have to cross to get their food. So, i going to throw a super on them, probably well before I thought I'd have to. But these bees have had a desire to swarm. I'm going to try to get this on real fast so that they don't even notice that I'm here. Fat chance of that, right? see here how we've been doing the feeder on these girls. I just take this whole thing, set it on top of here, and do a balancing act. I really don't want to squish any bees or disrupt the ones that are feeding. So we'll see how that works. Well, I have some bird home going. Come 
on, girls. Come on, girls. Move off of that stuff. Bees are vertical creatures. They like to build up and down more than they like to build out. So the danger of putting on a super too early is it'll build the center of the super up and leave all the frames on the sides blank. However, I just kind of had it with swarms at this point. They get squished like that. So we'll put this on and uh, hopefully the excluder will persuade them to build outward before they come up through it, but who knows? My own feeling is it's premature to put a super on. I just want to discourage these girls from feeling fine.